What's up guys, welcome back to Life of Lainey and today we're gonna be putting a very unique product to the test. Today we're gonna be testing out the new KKW body makeup. I'm so excited for this. First of all, the shipping was hella fast. I have to say, I ordered this on Friday, the day it came out. Today is Tuesday and it came. So that was like extremely fast. I thought it was gonna take a long time. It took two business days. Thanks Kim. So when she announced this launch, I had many questions as I'm sure many of you do. Like, how is this gonna be a practical product? How is it not gonna transfer? Like, is it gonna get all over my clothes, all over my car, all over my freaking bed sheets? Like, what if you're getting intimate with someone? You know, like, so many questions. I have so many questions. I bought this myself, I'm not on PR or anything. <laughs> not that that was like even a question. But I did buy the Skin Perfecting Body Foundation and also the brush to go with it. I did wanna get the brush to try it out. Ignore my ratchet nail, okay? Let's just not talk about it. I really wanted to get the full experience. I, I wanted to get the full experience with like the the body shimmer and the loose shimmer powder but girl that was like 200 something dollars i was like mm, no kim not today i literally have not touched these yet have not opened these i just got them today i have to say the thing i'm very nervous about is i did not know what shade to get because in some pictures like the shades looked really orange and in some picture I, I i really could not tell from my skin tone if i should get either medium or tan i ended up getting tan because it is summertime and i'm hoping i actually get a tan with this la weather i don't know though because this is being really weird i have not even swatched this yet I'm not even looked at it to see if it's my color. I really hope it is because if it's not, I don't know what I'm gonna do. So let's open her up, shall we? The official name for this is the KKW Beauty Skin Perfecting Body Foundation. And it's huge. It's actually really large. I, I really like that because it was $45. So, you know, there is four fluid ounces in it. So it's a, it's a nice big bottle and it's a nice sleek bottle. I like the color, it's very Kim. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a tiny little dot on the back of my hand, I guess, to see, ooh, to see what color is coming out. <laughs> and she looks a little dark, but let's, let's blend her out, let's blend her out. Apparently a little goes a long way, so let's just, do little first impressions on the hand here. Ooh, very creamy. It's super, super creamy. It's a, it's a little bit thick, which I was expecting because it's a body foundation. And I actually think this is my perfect shade because as I'm blending it out, it's like blending very nicely into my skin. Yeah, this is definitely the shade for me. We are good, we're safe. Yes. All right, so if you're wondering, if you're close to my skin tone, get the tan. Ooh, it's a very light scent. It's like a very light coconut scent. It smells really good. It's not too overpowering. It's like a, it's kind of like a light lotion. All right, let's get into this brush. Um, comes in this little package right here. I hope it's soft. Ooh, it feels, shoot. Ooh, girl, it feels soft like a chinchilla. So this is what the brush looks like. It's pretty large. It looks like it'll cover a lot of surface area. Um, I was expecting it to have like a little KKW logo on it or something. I think that would have been cute, but it doesn't. It's just like a, you know, plain brush. But it is cute. Definitely something that you want to rub across your skin. All right, so we got our brush. We got our foundation. Let's actually give this a go on the body. First of all, let me just read this card really quickly because it does have like some tips and tricks on it. So it says to apply a small amount of body makeup on dry, clean skin or directly onto the brush. Um and you can blend into your skin using long strokes with the brush or your hand. Use the product sparingly on your ankles, knees, and elbows. A little goes a long way, which I could tell just from doing it on my hand. Um, you can build it up for desired coverage, so it is buildable. All right, this is the big thing. It says, if desired, set with translucent loose powder to lock in and prevent transferring. I did see Kim's tweets where she said, if you don't set it, there is a chance that it will transfer which I feel like it's really hard to set your entire body with powder. But I think that was my main concern is like seeing if it's gonna transfer because like, especially in the summertime, it's hot and things could get weird. It doesn't say how long to let it dry, but I'm just gonna, I don't know, maybe like 10 minutes. And then it says remove with makeup cleansing wipes or soap and water. This also was a thing I was like, you have to like rub a makeup wipe all over your body. Like how does that work? But I'll probably just end up showering, of course, like, all right, so I'm gonna start, I'm gonna put my straps down. We're gonna start with the upper body. I'm gonna apply it like right here and see what happens. I'm kind of nervous about that because I don't really think I've seen anybody apply it on their chest yet, but. And for this, I'm gonna apply it directly on the brush. So I'm just gonna apply one little line. We're gonna start with that much. That might even be too much. I don't know. This is gonna be trial and error. All right, so I'm just gonna. Alrighty, that looks crazy. 
I'm just gonna move it back and forth. So I think it's like starting to run out now. Probably have to dip back in. So with the amount that I put, it obviously did not cover my entire chest. This like whole half right here isn't covered. So I don't think I put enough. So I'm gonna go back in with some more. So it's a little scary when you apply it at first, at least on your chest area, because it, it's a little splotchy, I feel like. But the more that you blend it out, it does start to come together. I do look tan. I look tan. So what I like about it is that it doesn't feel wet. Like it does, it actually doesn't feel like it's going to transfer. It feels pretty dry as you apply it. I would say that it's evening out the chest area, which is nice because I do have kind of like a splotchy chest area and I think it, that it does like even it out nicely. It makes you have like a nice uniform tone, makes you look nice and bronzed. Get up all the way. Okay, let's get the arms, shall we? So let's start with this left arm. I'm just going to, I'll do it this way. Uh, I'm gonna put, I guess, a long stripe just down my arm, I guess. <laughs> I really can't tell if I'm like applying enough, but all right, let's see. Kind of just looks like I'm applying like a self tanner right now. I feel like my application is not as neat <laughs> as it looks on Instagram. So you do have to work at it to really blend it out. Um, you do really have to go back and forth and kind of press in to really blend everything out, make it sure it's not streaky. This time I'm gonna put it directly on the brush and put a little bit more like that. I think I like it better when I put it directly on the brush. All the way down to your hands. Okay, you guys, so it definitely applies better for me at least when I put it directly on the brush and then apply it, applying it directly on my skin and then trying to blend it out, I feel like it makes it more splotchy. Yeah, I definitely like it way better when I apply it on the brush first. I think the fact that it makes it look nice and tan, it kind of makes your arms look more toned too, and just even. And as I said, it doesn't feel wet. Like it doesn't feel like you have anything on your skin really. Um, I still would definitely let it dry first because it probably would kind of transfer right now, but really it just feels dry. Like it doesn't feel crazy, but it definitely is transferring on my hand. So you definitely need to let it dry first. All right, you guys, so now we're gonna test out the legs. I'm gonna start with the thighs. So I applied it directly to the brush again. And let's start with this leg. Ooh. I think it's more fun to apply it on the leg. I think the scariest part about this is just like making sure that it's all blended out. Cuz, all right, so I think that's good. Hi, we're on the floor now. So I figured I would go ahead and try my stomach. Let's try it. Cuz it's looking very pale compared to the rest of my body. So let's see if it makes it look more toned, you know, after all those tacos I ate today. Mm. Okay, here we go. Mm, that looks crazy. This is definitely gonna get it on my shirt, but whatever. By the way, I still haven't applied it to this leg, so that's why that like looks super pale. kind of feel like it makes my stomach look more toned. At this point, I'm just glad that it matches the rest of my body, but I feel like it looks nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to this other leg now. It 
If someone else was doing this for me, this would be a lot more enjoyable. But this is definitely a little workout. And you definitely have to take the time to do this. But like, she's cute though. All right, so I think that's all blended. So now we got both legs down. <laughs> They're officially the same color now. All right, you guys, so here are my final thoughts about this product. Does it enhance your body, make you look nice and tan and toned? Yes, absolutely. I do think that it makes like a nice, even canvas for your body. Definitely a great product to have for summertime. However, it definitely does have its cons. Nothing that I'm surprised about. It kind of was everything that I was expecting, but I would definitely say the cons are it takes a long time to apply. You really have to make sure you blend everything out or else you will look crazy. If you have help, I think it would be kind of like a better experience. It definitely 100% transfers. There was a moment when I was taking pictures on the floor and I completely forgot that I had I was wearing this on my legs and it got all over my rug. I had already been wearing it for about 10 minutes, so it did transfer onto my rug. I did get it out though, it does come out. But I would say let it dry for at least 30 minutes before you make any type of moves. Like don't put no clothes on, don't sit anywhere, <laughs> like walk around, air it out, whatever. Let it dry at least for 30 minutes because otherwise there is a big chance that you will transfer. Now I did not apply powder. I think that it's kind of very not practical to apply powder all over your body. I'm not gonna do it, sorry. I just, I can't. I can't be bothered, I don't wanna do it. If you do apply powder, I'm sure that it would set a lot quicker and it won't transfer. And if you're in a rush, maybe you can just dump powder all over you and just hope for the best. I just don't think that's practical, so I'm not gonna do it, but I do like how it smells. It has a very nice, light, airy scent. Also, it doesn't feel wet. Um, obviously, if you rub your hands on yourself, it will transfer onto your hands until it's dry. Um, but as you're applying it, it doesn't feel super wet. It doesn't feel gross or heavy or anything like that. It feels very light. It kind of doesn't really feel like you have anything on, which is nice. Obviously, it's not going to like cover up cellulite and stuff like that. But if you do have bruises, if you have scarring, um, it definitely will cover. I don't think that it's going to cover fully, but it definitely like you won't be able to see much of it. And it is buildable. So if you want to add some more, you can. I also will say that it does take a lot to really work it in with the brush. Like it's not, when I was watching Kim's videos on her Instagram, Instagram, it seemed like it was very easy just to like you know glide it back and forth it's just so easy to blend but it actually does take a bit of work to really blend it in you really gotta like dig it in with the brush this is what the brush is looking like now it looks pretty you know crazy I'm probably gonna wash this but it has a lot of product in it a little does go a long way so I do think that you're getting your money's worth I would say you pretty much only need like one line for each limb <laughs> if that makes sense like just one line of foundation for each of your limbs i think that pretty much covers it overall do i think this is a must-have product absolutely not but i also don't think that it's marketed that way like she wasn't like oh my god you have to have this it's, i think it was very it's very much so for a specific purpose i personally would use this for special occasions red carpets if i'm doing like a music video um something like that i would not use this every day it's definitely not practical for everyday use but i do like the texture i do like the formula i think it's a nice product especially for what it's supposed to be for but yeah i don't i definitely don't think that it's a must have so hopefully that answers all of your questions but if you guys have more questions for me about this product let me know in the comments down below sound off let me know what you think of it um how you think it looks on me do i look like an oompa loompa i can't really tell you can follow me on instagram and twitter at life of laney tweet me message me dm me whatever you want to do thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next video bye